All right, everybody, welcome to Youth Focus. NovaJet, DDG printer, electric garment printer. This video will show you how to installation using and delivery time of a machine. First, let me give you the explanation for the machine. This is the front view of the machine. The top is the t-shirt pallet, and this is the work, this is a moving flatbed. This is the table, aluminum table, and the bottom this one is a servo motor for the flatbed. Front is emergency stop button. The top is focus logo. And we open the cover. This one is the upper limit sensor to detect the media without scratch the print head. And here is the ink damper, web MCK and full white ink. The carriage and the print head at the bottom and it's the encoded film and encoded sensor at the inside and the motion belt and the ball driver and in the bottom is the cap station I go to here is is the touch screen for the machine. The flap it move up, move down button, flap it up button, flap it backward button. Flap it forward button. Okay, so let's go to the rush set. This the drop, this the joy one to release the hot air and here is the lock this one is the lock or to hold the put the screwdriver inside to release the carriage lock and the cap station pump the waste anchor tuber go to the waste anchor bottle here Then we go to the bottom. Let me see the bottom. Here is the motor driver for the flatbed servo motor driver and the focus motion board, main board. And this one is the upper limit sensor receive device. And this is the PLC controller. And the Get the cable con connect with the con connect with the touch screen. And this one is the electric field. So this is the electronic system. We okay, then go to the back side. You can see here with the waste ink bottle and general power plug, general power switch, and USB connection port with USB cable and flatbed motor, server motor here. Okay, then we go to the back top side. We open this cover, we can see this is the Epson. R2000 version main board and Epson original power board. Okay, so this is the Epson original electronic system. 
Then we go to the left side. Open the top. Here is the angle bottle for each color. Yellow, magenta, stamp, black, white, white. This one is the air breathing, breathing field to fill the waste ink. If the waste air go to the bottle, then we go to the bottom. Here we can see is the 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 flap it up down motor for the flap it motion, up down motion, and this one is. The original Epson flap it in cut wheel go with flap it motor, original motor. But this one is not for flap it. It's it's, it's get from original Epson. It's, it's just for drive the the in cut film working to get the motion single from the printer. And also here at the top, this one is the in cut in cut wheel sensor. And must be pay attention to that is the in-cut wheel, in-cut transparent film must be at the middle, keep at the middle of the in-cut sensor and must without scratch the both sides of the sensor without dust and any dirty or any liquid must, keep, must be keep clean and without scratched. And this one is the Epson, the ink ink level detectors detect the light when the when some some ink lab, some some uh, cartridge show no ink they will be let on and they just reset it is okay and we have the non reset system to prevent this problem so this is the another electric, electricity system here Okay, so this is the spare pass construction. After that, let me teach you how to power on the machine. This is the general power switch. Must be paid attention to that your machine is 220 voltage or 110 voltage. Please confirm with focus digital to, to get the current correct power suite, power supply for your machine. First, the correct step to power on the machine is first to power on the general power. And then, the screw will be on. Then move the flat bit to the back side automatically. And then, click the power button. Then the top carriage will be start print will start testing. And I must be sure before we power on the print power, you must be sure the flap it if we are not scratch the printer. The flap it we have not scratch the print head the, the gap between print head and the middle is enough. And there's nothing on the table is free that we pop on the machine.